I have essentially 24 pounds of weight here. This is just a clothes hanger bent around. The distance from the center here to where this hangs is exactly 10 inches. So the math is 10 inches times the weight in pounds. So it's 24 times 10 is 240. So I have this dial set to exactly 240. You probably can't see it. It's dark and I'm doing the best I can to focus it. But in any case, you'll get that line right on zero and uh, 240. And now, if I just barely put a little bit of weight on the end here and push down, you hear it click. I'll hold it back up again. And I'll just barely touch this. And that's it. So that, that matches exactly. So 240 here, this should be on zero, and 24 pounds of weight. But you can do it with whatever. I'd recommend at least 20 pounds uh, to get an accurate reading. And however long your torque wrench is from the very center to where you hang the weight. And that's pretty much it. Just remember to not loosen this up too much or things will get messed up, which mine did. Um, loosen it just so it's loose enough. And when you're done using it, leave it loose so there's no pressure on the spring that will... Um, readjust it poorly. Now to adjust this, I won't do it now because I have this done properly. You loosen this screw all the way out, loosen this screw all the way out, and inside of there is another screw. It's just a, a screw. There's no handle or head to it. You adjust it with your fingers. And if you tighten it, then it will be a stronger pressure, and if you loosen it, it will be a lesser pressure. But this one is measured pretty much exact. You can use any this is an Audi S5, it's a 2010, and this is a 17 millimeter um, end on that, and this is a 3, I think 3 eighths, what they call it. And that's about it. It took me a long time to read up and figure a simple way to do this, but it works. And I'll take this off, and that's it. It's just a bunch of weights um, with a, a clothes hanger. Very simple. I hope this saves you some time.